Okay, so I'm going to show you an example from problem uh, five in the homework for 7273. And this is going to show you how to um, create a scatter plot, add a trend line with your um, y equals mx plus b and your r squared already in there. And I'm also going to show you how to do the regression um, on the side just so you can uh, find that as well. So I've taken the values and I've copied them and pasted them into Excel. Remember, we click here, we copy, and then go here and I've pasted it. And I took out the first column um, that says, uh, well, I left it in there, but I'm ignoring it because I don't need it. So I have my first column with the countries, but this is really all I've done. And I've highlighted those two cells because I want to insert a graph of those, a scatter plot of those. So we go to insert, and then over here to scatter plot. And remember, we want the one with just the dots, so we do that. Okay, and it's a little big, so I'm going to resize it a little bit. And just doing that by grabbing it and just making it smaller. That's all I've done is just make it smaller. Now to add a trend line, I'm going to use this layout number nine here, which is in the if you look in the layouts, you know there they can show you the first three. I'm taking number nine, and the reason I'm taking number nine is because it adds my y equals m s plus b um, equation and my r squared. So I just by inserting my graph, I can actually and then adding a trend line to it, which Excel will do for me. I can get my regression line. So the formula to do that is you know point zero negative point zero six five x plus two hundred thirty six point eighty seven. So this is my y-intercept, this is my slope, my r-squared is 0.887. So I'm actually doing very well. My, um, my x variable actually explains almost 89% of the variation in the y variable, which was um, the x variable was um, daily calories, the y variable is mortality rate. So that's actually pretty, pretty good. So um, to calculate correlation, all right. I'm gonna again make this all again a little smaller here. Move it out of my way, just a tad. Okay. So remember to calculate correlation, the formula is equals. Oops, sorry. Equals C O R R E L parentheses. Take your x value comma, y value, close parentheses, and hit enter. So notice here I have, a, this is my r, I want to get r squared to find out that value, see how close I am, equals this value, and then shift 6, and the number 2 will square that value, and I get 0.886997, so that's exactly you know what that is to three decimal places. So that has noticed this I already took care of my finding my r squared. To calculate regression, we have to use the data. Okay? So remember you're gonna need to be able to you're gonna have to put in your data analysis um, if you haven't already done that. And that's in um, file options add-ins, add-ins, come on, okay, and then Excel add-ins I need to be able to put in go and make sure my analysis tool back is checked off and it is, if I click OK. So I need my data analysis which is over here and I'm going to do regression. So you may have to scroll down, they're in alphabetical order, choose regression, hit OK, and then it asks you where is your Y's? Well my Y's are my mortality rate, where is my X's? That is my daily calories, 
there are no labels. Uh, I, there are, I'm not making the constant zero. I'm not having a confidence interval. Um, none of that. I do want to I don't need residuals calculated. I don't need standardized residuals calculated. I don't need a residual plot. I don't need a line. So any of that stuff is all taken care of. Um, this will put my answer in a new worksheet. Fine. I click OK. And I go to my um, screen here and it's already put in my uh, answers. So if I look here, here's my R squared. Here is my regression right here. Here's my coefficient, 239.87. Here's my slope, negative 0.065. Negative 0.065, 236.87. So all of my values are done for me, just like that. Now when I go to the homework, I'm done with this. Well, which line looked most correct? Well, I have calories all on the bottom, so that's good. Uh, my maturity rates are here. So let me look at my graph. And with my slope, I can make this a little bigger here. Just dragging it out, that's all. And if I look at this graph, and look at my homework, well, notice that this goes in between all those points at the bottom, where this one misses it on that side, this one misses it over here, this must be B. If I make it bigger, I can see it goes through the bottom of that. The next question is, what is R? Well, we've calculated R. It was negative 0.918. So they want two decimal places. So negative 0 0.94 r squared to two decimal places 0 0.89 